Hi there everyone, welcome along to another episode of Come Hither with Heather. What am I gibbering on about today? Well, I'm gibbering on about hormones. Mm-hmm. Hormones, all you ladies out there, this is for you. I get asked a lot of questions on a regular basis by my students and I think sometimes it's important to share the answers to the wider audience and today that is you. So what we're going to talk about is yes how hormones can affect your singing voice. So all you lovely ladies if this is something you might be interested in strap yourself in for the next few minutes and we'll have a wee gab. So yep so puberty whether it's yourself or whether it is your um, daughter, sister, auntie, whatever. Um, when we go through puberty, we know that males um, also experience hormonal changes and their voice breaks. But people often ask me, you know, does that happen to girls too? Yes, it does. But it just happens over a slower period of time. It's less dramatic. Uh, they do notice that their voice deepens, so the pitch drops and it's not as high pitched as it was. So, um, but as I said, it's over a it's over a longer period of time. The other area goes without saying, um, time of the month. So your menstrual cycle, you'll notice changes in your singing voice during your menstrual cycle. The hormones are fluctuating and it does affect how flexible your vocal cords are. And in a lot of people, they're even more flexible. Um, but you will find that you may be dehydrated as well. So you need to address that. Um, and I would say it generally requires a little bit more control, the voice, because I think the flexibility of the vocal cords does um, increase. So you need to be, be on the ball controlling your voice a bit more. Um, when you're pregnant, that also has an effect. Um, obviously, it's impacting various parts of the body, but it does include the vocal cords. And we do notice changes to the range. So you might notice that it gets better or it might get worse. And you may notice that, again, you're dehydrated. You may notice that your breathing's affected the more the baby takes up space as you move through your pregnancy. The other joyful area that obviously I'm entering at the moment is the perimenopause, moving towards the menopause. Oh, it's a roller coaster of excitement. This is obviously another phase of life marked by hormonal changes. Now, yes, it does lead to, in myself, diff alterations in my vocal range and the quality of my voice. Um, but that can also be just to the fact we're getting a bit older, you know. Um, but what I would say is I try and stay on top of supplements and staying well hydrated it's not all about menopause. I would say it's very much um, can depend on things like genetics, your overall vocal health. Are you keeping on top of that? And how sensitive you are to the fluctuations in your hormones. So I do work with quite a lot of professional uh, female singers who we have to teach them how to navigate their way around those changes that, that crop up, um, especially if they have a performance coming up. Um, so that is something that I can work with my students on um, to be able to adapt as these little lovely times come upon us. So, yeah, I would say throughout various stages of our lives, ladies, we do experience hormonal shifts. And these, if you are a singer, will also impact your voice. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Just another thing for you to add in to your skipping through buttercup feels lives. <laughs> so, yes, so the next time you are feeling that your voice is maybe not on par, just have a think. Are you a bit hormonal? And if you are, 
don't be hard on yourself. It's not the end of the world. Okay, there's always a way to figure it out. Okay, I hope that's been useful for you today. You take care and I'll see you next time. See you later.